here. Today, I would like to play you my top 10 country riffs. These are riffs that have formed my playing ever since I was a little girl. So uh, let's get into them. Now, my riff number 10 on the top 10 country riffs of all time, I thought I would choose something a little bit newer just so you get a mix of old and new. I remember the first time I heard this song on the radio and I was like, this has such a cool vibe at the start of this song. So I chose Something About a Truck by Kit Moore. It goes a little like this. My number nine riff on my top 10 country riffs list is Hicktown by Jason Aldean. Jason is one of my fellow label mates. I always remember watching him play the song live and it is one of those guitar licks that just get people to their feet. And it also is one of those guitar riffs when you hear it, you just wanna learn how to play it. It looks so fun and it sounds so cool. So this is Hicktown. <laughs> My number eight riff on the top 10 country riffs list is Play Something Country by Brooks and Dunn. Brooks and Dunn are another artist that has just basically made country music what it is. I've played this song so much live. It's always one of those guitar riffs that the minute you play it, people are like, I know this song, I like this song. So this is Play Something Country. <laughs> My seventh riff on the top 10 country riffs is Somebody Like You, Keith Urban. This song formed my playing when I was growing up. Keith has become such a dear friend. He's one of the best guitar players in country music and really in the world. He just has such exceptional feel in his playing. But you will walk down Broadway in downtown Nashville and hear this song all the time. Sometimes you will like walk past a bar on the top of the street and that you'll hear it and then you'll walk past a bar on the bottom of the street and you'll hear it being played at the same time. This song is just such a generational hit and this lick needed to be on the list. <laughs> The sixth riff of the top 10 country riffs is Chattahoochee by Alan Jackson. How can this riff not be on this list? I remember seeing this music video for the first time where Alan Jackson is getting up on that long ski, water ski, what are those things called? I don't know, whatever it is. It's like that one ski. Anyways, it's so cool. It's such a good music video. You should go check it out. But this riff is just, it is, it's what country music is. It goes a little like this. My number five riff on the top 10 country riffs. I'm trying to mix up a little bit of old with a little bit of new. This one dates back to one of those riffs that is just so influential in country music. It is Merle Haggard, Mama Tried. Now there are actually two parts to this riff. So the first riff goes a little like this. <laughs> Second part, let me uh, let me loop this, and then I'll play what the acoustic normally plays. This part, and then I'll play what the electric plays. My 
My number four riff is Ain't Going Down Till the Sun Comes Up by Mr. Garth Brooks. This song is such a jam. It has such a cool guitar lick. You know, there are so many of Garth's songs that are so important to the genre of country music, but this song specifically is just all about the rockin' guitar. It goes like this. My number three riff is Jolene. Now Jolene is a song that you don't necessarily think of as a guitar song, but I will say that opening riff of Jolene is such a cool little lick that it needed to go on the top 10 country riffs. It goes a little like this. It is played on acoustic, but I played on electric a lot when I cover it with my band. When you hear this riff, you will recognize it, I promise. <laughs> Okay, the second riff, I toured with him all over the world for about a year and a half, and I would be amiss if I did not include a Brad Paisley riff on this list. I have chosen one of my favorite songs to watch Brad play live. Anytime you hear this, you're like, whoa, that looks so fun to play, I need to learn this. So this is The Nervous Breakdown. <laughs> One. You know, I would be amiss if I didn't play anything for Mr. Johnny Cash. And I was going through trying to find the one riff that truly should end up on the on the list. And um, I had to choose I Walk the Line. It's, it's such a country riff. It is such a riff that when you were learning country guitar that you're like, I need to learn I Walk the Line. So it goes a little like this. <laughs> Those are my top 10 country riffs. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Make sure to subscribe to Marty Music as well as check out my own channel. The links are below. We'll see you next time.